So, um, as I was playing with Max outside, they were zapping my asshole, and they were zapping my stomach as well, and my lower back. Um, instantly I felt pains in my lower back, and in my belly, and I felt like it was on fire. Um, I covered, they were also getting my nipples earlier. They like to do this thing called, that I call the electrical nipple tweak that I posted about, where it literally feels like someone's tweaking your uh, nipples. Um, and, uh, they're doing it now as I say that, like they... Uh, always do. I covered it with my form like this, and they're they're actually replicating the scenario right now, uh, slightly. Uh, I did this, and my whole forearm burned, and felt like it was being electrically shocked. Um, right now, they're buzzing. Uh, well, they're doing all that, and they're buzzing my feet. So, and they're tracking my feet too. So, kind of got Walmart feet right now, but right there, and my wrist hurts. My hand feels a slight electrical field. They're doing it very mildly right now. I feel an I feel an electrical beam right there with my hand. That is not a mental illness. That is not neurosyphilis. That is not neuropathy. That is not fibromyalgia. That is not anything but people using these uh, devices that the police have um, to uh, electrically shock people from afar. It can literally bring you to my knees and I will be in the next week. I'll be getting uh, a video footage uh, online and uh, several um, uh, uh, stops by the police officers in which you will literally see me being electrocuted. Um, electrocution is not a mental illness. They do also prey in the mentally ill and uh, people isolated, people using drugs, people are depressed or having some issues and and if not, then they put you in those demographics or they paint you in those demographics. And they also lie in police reports, plant drugs on you. They route you through uh, jail or through the mental health facility, as they've done both to me. I've, done, I've never done anything wrong with the exception of that slow speed car chase. And that's the one that they planted drugs on me. Um, oddly enough, they were so nice to drop the charges where they planted drugs on me. And when they uh, charged me with resisting arrest, although the other charges were bad as well. They didn't drop those. So I'm a felon, and I should have no criminal record, thanks to APD officers and Travis County Sheriff officers. Right now, they're pounding my back right now. It literally feels, and I have no back issues. I did not sleep on my back wrong. I did not, <laughs> I did not have back issues hardly ever. I can't remember the last time I had back issues, except when they, when they attack it. It literally right now feels like someone's pounding my back with a hot hammer. And now, and now my arm, my whole arm instantly turned hot and it felt like it's being electrocuted or pounded or squeezed really hard. Right now it, it feels the same way. My whole, my whole arm from my hand up to my shoulder, although it's, now it's more concentrated on my shoulder and upper arm. So that's, uh, that's the police for you or their henchmen. Uh, Austin police support terrorism and they are terrorists. Not every single one, but a, a, a good number of them. That doesn't mean I say, I'm say i saying the majority of them are. I'm saying there's a good number of police officers and sheriff officers who are sketchy, evil motherfuckers and that deserve a punishment worse than death for what they've done to me and to other people. I'm trying to drive people towards hurting themselves and towards hurting other people. I am not thinking about my hurting myself or other people, although that's a very interesting question to ask people when they're a victim of assault. Because you do want you do want these people to get their comeuppance, as do I. I just don't want to be the person doing it. I don't want to deal with these motherfuckers anymore. Someone else will deal with them, and they will get a punishment worse than death.